morning today this is day two of the 12 days of christmas with me every day at midnight i will send out a new christmas video for you to enjoy hopefully you can craft along so today's inspiration is going to be the hidden message this is a recent um, debut from diamond press there was an auto ship available i did take part in that however there's a christmas one that is coming out next year for 2021 i've decided to move ahead of diamond press and create a christmas hidden message card myself so if you would like to see how i've done that stay tuned so for this project you will need the diamond press hidden message um this i did assemble off camera if you need to know how to assemble this i will leave a video link in the description box for you i have done a video on that on how to assemble that okay so i've went ahead and done it offline and this is what it looks like so what we are going to do is we are going to turn this little guy into a wreath so how we're going to achieve that is i have used a combination of diamond press dies so this one is the hidden message and i have told you guys on many many videos to please invest in the diamond press christmas foliage die kit it is one of my go-to's this holiday i use it for lots and lots of stuff so we are going to be using that today and we are also going to be using the diamond press um this one is the i believe this is the gatefold so this was the 3d christmas gatefold it came with the gatefold poinsettia and a gatefold christmas tree so from this kit we are going to be using this large holly right here okay I think that's the only thing we're going to be using and a stamp. I use the season's greeting stamp for my hidden message. Okay. So I have that one. Um, and then from the foliage kit, we are going to be using the small holly here. Okay. So the small one and you can use the berries for the holly as well right here. Okay. So those are those two kits. This one has a smaller holly, the gatefold, the one with the larger one. It has a smaller one too right there, but it's super tiny. And we would have had to cut that multiple, multiple times. So what I've done, I've taken the large holly from the diamond press, the um, Christmas gatefold, and I believe that is still available as well. So I've cut out six of the large holly. And what we're going to do is we are going to layer these around our hidden message. You see that? So that's how we're going to get that wreath effect. So you're just going to take your six pieces and you're going to glue them around. Be careful with this part so you don't glue that part. And then the little pieces, the little um, stems, the little tails sticking out, you can tuck those under and maybe cut off the one that's on the top for the very last or the very first one okay so it's not so tacky um we will cover these up more so if it doesn't bother you don't worry about it so let me go ahead and start gluing this down and what you'll do is you'll just take some of your regular glue and you'll just put some adhesive on it and we'll just go ahead and lay it down and just be careful so we can still have our oops we can still have our message okay so be careful with that i think i need more glue here okay so i'm going to just do two of them for you and then i'll do the rest off camera and it's going to look a little eh, at first but trust me it'll get much better and what i'm going to do actually before this dries is tuck that little one under there so you see that looks much neater and just push it out so that you are staying away from this part okay so then you'll just go around okay so here is my last one and i'm just tucking the little tail on the one before and going around and as you can see oops we'll push this out a little okay and don't worry about like little pieces like this, the little gap, because we're going to be able to cover that up. The main thing is to keep your message, hidden message visible, okay? So then now what we're going to do is remember from the foliage kit, the diamond press foliage kit, I said we were going to cut out some of the little hollies, the smaller ones. So that's what I have done here. And what I've done is I have taken two of them 
I've cut off the little the little stems because they're annoying me for my project so I just put some glue on the side of one of them just the side and just kind of kiss it together well you don't have to whoops go up that far with the glue but okay I have butter fingers oh I'm like where did it go so let me put a little more glue because like I said this glue is fast drying okay and just push it together make a little holly and then you can use that holly um sorry that berry dye also from the diamond press foliage kit right here you can use that and you can make your berries cut out in red paper red glitter paper or whatever or if you have the diamond press pearls or gems you can use those and I have those but for this I'm using my craft factory so I just use red and all I did was take some glue put some little glue around here and then I am going to add my little berries if you have the diamond press the um, the diamond press gems it automatically has the adhesive on it okay and this glue dries clear so don't worry about the glue so that's how we get our beautiful holly okay and then now what we're going to do is we are going to take these and we are going to layer these on the top so you see what i'm saying if you have any gaps that you want to cover up or any area that you don't like so i've cut out about maybe i think i have six you don't have to use all six i'm going to leave space because i would like to add a bow to this as well okay so you'll just take that and you can use foam tape if you like you can use um, pop dots or you can use 3d glue gel so I'm just gonna go ahead and place these I'm gonna let that dry because I have some already I'm just gonna go ahead and place these around my wreath okay so now I have glued all my little holly and with the berries on top and this is still good how cute is this guy so super cute so then now what we are going to do is we are going to take our card base and I have a card base it's a little smaller than an A2 size and I added a layer of um, pretty Christmas card stock on it and what I want to do is to stamp a sentiment in it before I um I want to stamp my sentiment before I start um gluing everything down okay so i'm just going to be using my little mat here and i am going to be using this sentiment is from the diamond press this is the 3d christmas um gatefold so i'm going to use this may your days be merry and bright and i'm going to stamp this on the inside so i'm gonna put it like right towards the middle okay and I'm just going to use some red ink to do that so I'm just using some memento ink and you guys already know how to stamp so make sure you stamp that before you start decorating the outside of your card that's nice and pretty take that off okay and then now we can go ahead and decorate the front of our card so we need to lay our message down so this is from me cutting out the hidden message just dropped out of one of the little rings and I just use stamp it and I'm going to place it where I want it so what you want to do is open this up so that you're gonna be able to see it you know okay so then just like that so you know where it goes so um, I like it right there so I'm just gonna put some glue right there okay whoops so I'm just gonna move it out the way I know it was like right here and we're just going to go ahead and set that like that there we go and that way when it's open and then now we're going to place our glue on the back of here okay so I'm just glue in the back so we glue this don't glue the little circle just glue the outline 
and we just open it to make sure that it's placed properly kind of tough to see and stay in the camera view so let me lift this okay perfect and just press it down when you're happy with it and there we go and then you can put the little pull sign or however you want to I'm actually gonna see glue so I want it to be like this this way so let me put a little more adhesive see I like the glue because you can lift it without tearing your paper you have some maneuvering time let me just make sure this is correct kind of okay and then push it up there we go can I do it again I want it like right there okay okay there we go sorry guys I'm just trying to position it okay there we go I wanted it like right here okay so there we go and then now what you'll do is finish decorating so I have a bow so here's a bow here and you can glue your bow so I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of my bow or you can use hot glue or um, if you use a wet glue um, this is fabric so it may take a little time to dry so you're just gonna put your foam adhesive on the back here and here. Do not put it right there cause it'll fall off. Um, it'll keep falling off. So just put it on each of the ribbon bows like that. Okay. And then just go ahead and place that on. How cute. Okay. And then I've also cut out some of the holly in gold and I added the little gems as well. So I am just going to I'll probably put foam tape on this as well. So I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of that, give it some dimension, and sit that there. And then this one, and you, if, I mean, obviously this paper is printed, so there's, um, you know, you can cut out a sentiment or add one or whatever, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is because to me, this is my sentiment. So, and then you can just add that little pull here and we are finished how about that you guys a beautiful holiday hidden message wreath and what i wanted to tell you is when you do your hidden message um the reason why i did it green was because i want it to be the same color of the wreath and this part you want it to show when it's closed you want it to look like a wreath so do not do your uh, so, uh the little shutter pieces you uh, when you make this you need five of those do that in a different color paper because if not this is just going to be totally green and i mean you can probably see it looks like a wreath but i really wouldn't do it just do a different color so now this looks like a wreath open it up and there you go so you can do and then remember we're layering the green holly on top so it's best to do it in a green paper and then those are all your rings and then the five shutter pieces do it in a different color paper. So that is our beautiful card for day number two of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you guys like it. Today was featuring diamond press. We use the Christmas foliage kit. We use the 3D gatefold and Christmas tree kit. And we also use the diamond press hidden message. So thank you so much for watching me. I love you guys. I hope to see you again at midnight for day number three of 12 days of Christmas. Love you guys. Bye.